Greetings! Today I'll be putting um, together a little, really small, tiny electronics kit um, from eBay um, that I got. And um, for those interested, the item number is 37121012529 and uh, it, the cost for this was 99 pence delivered. And there is, as you can see on the picture, there is literally uh, just a handful of components, two LEDs, two transistors, um, two cups and um, six resistors and that's about it a PCB and a piece of wire um, now I when I was I got this when I was browsing browsing eBay for uh, random electronic stuff I saw this and um, that uh, brought back some memories from the past because this exact circuit um, was uh, one of the first things if not the first kit um, that I uh, put together a long long time ago uh, as a kid so I thought well, well why not uh, get a little bit nostalgic and uh, get it for 99 pence and uh, put it together and uh, what what comes in here it's a mysterious piece of wire uh, I think that's for connecting the battery but uh, um, yeah a bit strange because it's got the um, connectors like the Arduino uh, pin type stuff but yeah um, two electrolytic uh, caps 22 microfarads um, two LEDs of uh, unknown color undetermined yet um, but we'll find out later um, two 33k uh, resistors uh, two uh, 510 resistors and two transistors. I've just noticed actually um, on the picture on the eBay listing there were six resistors um, but yeah the circuit actually um, needs only four of them. So let's um, let's draw the schematic for this maybe and uh, have a look uh, what's it made of and the circuit is really simple uh, what we have is an LED um, in series with a resistor 510 uh, ohms in this uh, in this case that goes to the collector of a NPN transistor we've got a capacitor here uh, electrolytic another resistor and another resistor both of those are 33k capacitor Resistor second LED and the second transistor like so, and that's where you apply the voltage and that's um, that's all there is to it. So it's a really uh, really simple uh, circuit, and the cap is uh, 22 micro over here. Now you can play about with the value of the resistors and uh, um, and the uh, and the caps, and increasing the cap will decrease the frequency of the oscillation and whatnot. Uh, but it's a classical flip flop uh, um, circuit. Um, it, this is also called. Uh, I'll write it down. It's a A stable multi vibrator. And a stable multi vibrator means um, it's not stable, so it will oscillate. Um, and um, yeah, this is, there's a few variations of this. So by f removing the caps from here and just the and those resistors and just putting resistors in here um, you you could uh, basically get a JK flip-flop um, out of this and that's uh, that's another uh, another very popular circuit but um, yeah in in this setup basically what happens once you apply voltage the current goes through everywhere that it can and the easiest way for the current to go through because this is a 510 ohm resistor uh, to flow like so uh, because it's got only a two diode junctions so base emitter and the um, and the LED and um, yeah that's the easiest way to flow and effectively it, it switches on the transistors the diodes would come on for a split second but um, eventually one of the 
uh, one of the caps uh, will get um, fully charged up and stop the current and that's when it when it tips over onto uh, onto one side and effectively when uh, when one transistor is switched on it pulls down it charges the cap backwards and uh, by doing that it basically makes this point uh, um, low potential which switches off this transistor up until a point where it's fully charged um, and then what happens uh, because there is a 33k resistor over here uh, this becomes high potential so it switches on this one and yet again the current goes through uh, like so but effectively making this uh, this low potential because um, all there is to it is uh, collector emitter junction uh, through a cap cap while it's charging it's almost zero resistance so this will switch off this transistor up until the, this cap is fully charged so the potential will rise over here because this is fully charged and the current is not flowing anymore and uh, so high potential here switches on this one which effectively does the same thing other way around and um, and that's how it works so yeah really uh, really simple circuit and you can um, this this sort of setup is um, is present in many uh, many devices actually it's uh, it's a it's a nice thing nice building block of uh, many other electronics um, but anyways um, let's put it together quickly so I'll switch on the soldering um, iron um, the board on the kit the kit was 99p and uh, it's got a tiny board it's probably two by two centimeters if that and uh, yeah really uh, really really simple okay I think the iron is uh, warm enough by now so yeah we've got two resistors uh, green brown brown so that's uh, that's gonna be 510 ohms so those two go here like so it's worth bending the legs outwards a little bit to hold them in place And 33Ks will go here. And again, bend the legs uh, outwards a little bit uh, because it just makes things uh, easier, holds them in place. So, let's put some solder on here. Okay, then when it's done, um, just crop the leads off. I'm gonna be using my uh, cuticle cutters because because I like them. If you have seen, I've I've done a little test on a video uh, comparing the the actual cut from many different cutting things, and um, those are surprisingly cheap and surprisingly good for cutting. Uh, just uh, you know, low. Uh, Low thick, small thickness uh, wires like uh, resistor capacitor leads and and whatnot, um, and yeah, um, then the electrolytic caps go in. Um, bear in mind the markings on those because those are polarized. So longer leg uh, goes into the positive, or uh, the white uh, white silk screen side uh, goes to where the negative is. And the second one like so. And uh, what next? Let's put the transistors in. Now I'm not going to be double checking what sort of pinouts they have. I'm going to trust uh, the actual silk screen. Um, if I was doing something relatively important I would, uh, I would always recommend uh, to double check what uh, 
what the transistor that you have towards the pinout uh, because the silk screen can be sometimes deceiving uh, but anyways let's take the risk over here Like so, almost done. The last, uh, almost last thing um, is the LEDs, and again, those are polarized. The longer, a longer leg is always the anode. I think the only thing left over here is to uh, put some wire for the power um, but um, yeah I'm not going to use this uh, thing supplied over here uh, because yeah uh, I'm just gonna put some piece of wire that I've got plenty of lying around okay I've got uh, just a USB cable uh, with a power onto it and there we go. So there's so many things uh, that need five volts. I just find it easy to have a cable that I can connect to random things. But there we go. It's uh, there's the blinky. And funny when I touch it on one side, it will. change a little bit um, the the pulse width when I disturb one of the sides but yeah that's uh, that's how it works and there you go that's the a stable multi vibrator um, kit from eBay and yeah as I said um, it was uh, one of the first if not the first thing I've uh, put together and that's what come on contact uh, one of the things that got me interested in electronics long long time ago um, yeah thanks for watching and uh, subscribe for more random stuff um, hope you enjoyed this little video um, that's all for this one take care